Here, the excellence in materials such as wood, metal, and leather is absolutely authentic, with no cheap compromises or cost cutting. In the production of each piece, the standards are so high that hundreds of kilograms of defective parts need to be sent for touch-ups. A separate production area is reserved exclusively for crafting the wooden panels. In a small room, laminated wood from different parts of the world arrives, while skilled craftsmen manually cut out the instrument panels. In an adjoining workshop, the leather is prepared. Huge rolls of multicolored leather are carefully stacked in a special cabinet. While modern mass production brands seek to minimize the number of people working on the production line, relying mostly on robots, Rolls-Royce does exactly the opposite. Here, manual labor is considered sacred, and only two simple robots are used, specifically in the paint shop. On May 1, 1904, the British Charles Rolls and Henry Royce founded the Rolls-Royce Company and in 1906 presented the first car of the brand. Over the next 50 years, Rolls-Royce built an image of an exclusive British car, driven by businessmen, celebrities, and even members of the royal family. However, the long-term success was shaken in 1998 when the company was acquired by the BMW Group. But they managed to regain their former glory, and now Rolls-Royce is one of the most expensive cars in the world, whose acquisition demonstrates status and social standing. The price of the base model, like the Rolls-Royce Phantom, starts at $300,000. But why are people willing to pay so much money for a common car? The answer lies in the fact that, for this price, the manufacturer offers the highest quality and a wide range of custom options. At Rolls-Royce, both the wood, metal, leather, and even diamonds are authentic, with no cheap compromises or desires to save money. For example, in the manufacturing of the wood panel finish, 16 layers of laminates are applied to a cast aluminum mold, followed by 5 layers of varnish, each hand polished. The wood grain pattern is manually selected to ensure harmony with the rest of the pieces. The same applies to leather. Assembling a single interior piece takes an average of 4 hours, and 8 to 11 bull hides are needed for each car. Before becoming decorative elements for the interior of the Phantom or the Ghost, each piece of leather goes through a meticulous checking process for damages, insect bites, scratches, and scars. But the most interesting part is when the customer expresses interest in the color they want for their future car. The owner can choose from 44,000 shades, and 12 layers of paint will be applied to their vehicle, with mandatory polishing after each layer. It is possible to order a limousine in rich colors, such as desert gold, which requires the addition of gold to the paint, at a cost of $30,000 for each coating layer. One lady wanted to paint her ghost with the color of her favorite lipstick, while another wanted her new phantom to match the color of her favorite spaniel dog. Engineers had to collect a sample of the fur and recreate the color first on a computer and then in the paint shop. Every seven customers, one of them orders a car with two colors, with surprising combinations of shades. A Chinese customer who studied in Edinburgh ordered a phantom with a checkered pattern, similar to a Scottish kilt. As mentioned before, while other modern car brands strive to have the fewest number of people in their factories and automate the entire process, Rolls-Royce takes the opposite path. Manual labor is considered sacred, and everything is done by hand. Even the platform trolleys are rolled by the factory workers themselves between the stations. Only in the most time-consuming operations, such as installing a massive front panel assembly or the body attachment phase to the chassis, are mechanized manipulators used. It takes about 450 hours to assemble each Rolls-Royce. The final inspection computer points out errors and defects that are by no means allowed. The same happens in the work of the craftsman. Whoever is responsible for an error is exposed on a kind of honor board for a few weeks, although this rarely happens. 
All the automaker's employees are high-level professionals and truly love their work. Here is Mark Court, one of the most famous figures in Rolls-Royce's modern history. He is solely responsible for pinstriping, drawing a fine line with a brush that runs all over the car's body. Mark has no brakes or assistance. The lines on all Rolls-Royces are made by him, by hand. Court performs this work, in addition to traveling on business trips and restoring lines on old cars. He also restores pinstriping in cases of accidents. Overall, Rolls-Royce offers dozens of colors that can be combined, as well as a wide variety of seat upholstery, panel designs, ceiling, and much more. At the factory, there is also a special division called Bisbal, a team of designers who meet with customers to discuss interior and exterior design options. In a Rolls-Royce, anything is possible. One model was equipped with a set of Wedgwood porcelain for picnics. Another has a wine cellar, while another was made for a famous sumo wrestler in Japan, with an immense armchair in the back. There are Rolls Royces equipped with gold cigarette cases and ashtrays, front panels with pearl details, and even devices from a Boeing aircraft cabin. Currently, among the most famous Rolls Royce owners are David Beckham, who drives a Rolls Royce Phantom with a Louis Vuitton designed leather interior, and the energetic Eminem who decided to turn the automotive world upside down. How did he do it? He cut the roof of his Rolls-Royce Phantom and turned it into a convertible. But the best Rolls-Royce customer is the Sultan of Brunei, one of the company's most important clients. In the 1990s, almost half of Rolls-Royce's revenue came from selling cars to the Sultan and his brother. The luxury cars were sent to Brunei a day after leaving the assembly line at the factory. Just imagine, Sultan Hassan al Bolkiah owns a collection of 9,000 extremely expensive cars. Besides being Sultan, he is also the Prime Minister, Defense Minister, Finance Minister, Foreign Minister, and billionaire in his spare time. The Sultan has a special passion for Rolls-Royce and owns over 300 unique cars of different versions in his garage. The cost of each of these Rolls-Royces is approximately $1 million. The most precious car in his collection is the Rolls-Royce Silver Spur II limousine, which was plated in pure gold. The project had an estimated cost of $20 million. To maintain the world's largest fleet of cars, the Sultan hired an entire team of mechanics from the United Kingdom. As a true automotive leader, Rolls-Royce is not satisfied with just the success it has already achieved. In 2016, at the Round House Complex in London, a solemn ceremony was held to unveil the future of luxury, the new Rolls-Royce Vision Next 100, codenamed 103EX. This is the brand's first conceptual model. With nearly 6 meters in length, the car belongs to the extremely high-priced category, maintaining the brand's tradition. The Rolls-Royce Vision Next 100 is a fully autonomous electric car, without a steering wheel or pedals, but filled with luxury. The description of this show car is sophisticated, brilliant, and beautiful. In this exquisite sanctuary of sublime style, the virtual assistant and artificial intelligence named Eleonora acts as the driver and personal assistant. The designer sought to recreate the spirit of luxurious horse-drawn carriages and coachmen, replacing them with the artificial intelligence system. As expected from a Rolls-Royce, the owner is surrounded only by the most modern and luxurious materials, such as natural wood, wool, and ivory. There are also OLED displays and unique analog clocks, marked with the R logo. The car of the future is equipped with a large and movable glass roof that opens by moving along articulated and folding mechanisms, allowing passengers to enter the back without having to bend. After entry, the roof and doors close automatically. The 29-inch high, narrower wheels are manually crafted from 65 individual pieces of aluminum, partially concealed to create an analogy with a futuristic vessel, 
like a catamaran. And what about a marvelous car with an enormous glass roof? The Rolls-Royce Sweptail cost the incredible sum of $13 million to the customer. Truly impressive, isn't it? In 2017, a wealthy Englishman received a unique two-seater car, with each body detail exclusively handmade. The company's experts took three years to create this incredible retro-style coupe. In 2019, Rolls-Royce achieved a record number of sales, with 5,152 cars sold. It was the highest number of sales in its 116-year history. As you may already understand, the main characteristic of a Rolls-Royce is luxury. However, it is not just that. Rolls-Royce has always positioned itself as the most reliable luxury car in the world. The manufacturers claim that no matter how much you use the car, it will keep running, and you simply won't be able to break it. Of course, this is part of their marketing strategy, and everyone knows that there are no eternal cars. But there is no doubt that Rolls-Royce cars are truly of high quality and reliable.